Hope you are doing well today. I am going to show you guys how you can paint the Christmas candle. Now, I'm, I'm sure you guys can kind of figure out by now that I've done three animals for the month of June. And the reason I've done that is because I'm kind of behind on my Christmas nativity stuff. So, um, I am going to show you how I would paint this Christmas candle uh, animal nativity piece. It's been outside. Uh, hey, Debbie, how are you? This thing, we had the mower show up. Yesterday, yesterday. Might have been yesterday. yesterday. And um, so, so I'm having the windex and things that it was outside. And, and, the, and the mold did a great, great job. You know how the, the mold just throw the grass over there. Because that's, that's what, what you do, do when you mold the yard. Uh, I hope you're having a good one. I don't know why this on uh, my. Um, I put a title on here and it still says how to. Okay, kind of an effort. Let me try something. Let me do this real quick. I'm going to click this. Hey, how are you? I see Facebook users not telling me your name, but hello, whoever you are. Debbie, is that any better? Let me make sure that all that in. Let me know if that goes any better. So I'm windexing this really good to get all the junk off of it uh, because it's been sitting outside and the motors were here today. And uh, or yesterday, whatever it was. Well, today and yesterday have been kind of a weird. I don't know what is wrong with me, kind of day. I don't know anything wrong, but um, so I haven't been sleeping good, so that's probably part of it. I have been very lucky all these years. Oh, hey, Paula, how are you? I'm glad you told me your name, that way I can talk to you. Uh, but anyway, all these years, I really dealt off and on with acid reflux, and it's been giving me the blues a lot lately. So I called the doctor today and uh, just decided, you know, I used to wake up one day and I'm like, okay, we're going to do something. Don't know what we're going to do. And I've been going to see doctor since I was like, uh, well, in my late 20s, y'all. So 30 years, same doctor. Debbie, I've been going to this doctor since I worked in Gary over there on purpose. So I'll tell you how long it was. Okay. And uh, they were actually able to fit me in today. So I went in. The last thing you want to do is get it and go to the doctor. But... Hopefully, they gave me some more medicine for my acid reflux. I, I kind of tend to think it's probably age more than anything, but I don't know. I slept maybe two hours over the last two to three nights, two hours of the night. So hopefully tonight they gave me some more medicine and I will, uh, I will get better with that. Okay, so then he says it's really not any better. Let me try this. Now, I just muted it, Debbie, so you may not can hear me. Uh, Oh, okay. They're signing on the other pages. Maybe that's what it is. But, but you know, I'm going StreamYard here, so I'm going live on all three pages. But, yeah, maybe that's it. Okay. So, anyway, I'll tell you more about my little story about the acid reflux here in a minute. But i got to start working, too. <laughs> so, this is a chip brush that I just put my own little Mary Amick design on. And I cut some of the things out to try to make it look a little bit more like um, fur. That's something Victoria and I did in the, actually, she really did it. I just kind of watched. And um, part of creating fur is using like a rake brush. And I have rake brushes, but they're too little for this bigger piece. Or I think they are. So what I did is I just took a chip brush and I made my own rake brush by cutting the edges here. That's basically what I did. And I just kind of came in here with a pair of scissors and just cut out little edges. And um, that way, I can kind of do this without, if you're not careful, the bigger piece that you have, the bigger brush you really need to use as well. And so you've got to make sure that um, you can use a small rake brush on this. There's absolutely no reason why you couldn't. I just don't because I I really um, think it take, takes too much time for me to do that. Okay, so I've got this right brush. I put the paint on and I constantly take it back off, if that makes any sense. Now, this little guy, he's got this little, I think you like his elbow or leg. So I'm going to kind of swoosh it up a little bit there, kind of come down here. And I just kind of put a lot of 
of brush stroking into it. Put the paint on, take it back off. So if you decide that you want to do an animal, in this case, I'm doing the Christmas nativity animal, you can just get your rake brush and just make light strokes. The thing about strokes like this, you can always come back. Like if you feel like this is too light, come back and put some more brush stroking on it. You can always do that. And I would kind of do something like this because you're going down the direction of that leg. And I'm standing up just because I'm trying to get um, all over this camel. And I think this camel is like 40 something inches wide, y'all. So it's not the littlest piece in the world. T put that paint on and take it back off. That's really all you do. No echo. But talk loud. Okay, can you hear me if I talk louder like this, Debbie? You know what? I bet I can turn the volume up on this. All right, let's do this. Okay. 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 Sorry about that. Okay, I'll try to talk louder. All right, so I'm kind of almost to the point where I'm almost done with the rake brush. Now, I will still come in here and do some more brush stroking, y'all. I'm not done, but I'm kind of getting to the point on the on the body that I'm going to be done with the rake brushing. And if you don't think you have enough, just put some more paint on there and go back and add some more. You can do as much or as little as you want. Okay. You turn this guy around, kind of get it back over here. Now, I still need to do his face, so let me do his face Try to put this in the camera where you guys can see it. All right. Now, on the face, you're again, you're just trying to go with the way that you think the fur might grow on the animal. I like to kind of come in this direction and think about giving them not really eyebrows because that's not really what you're doing, but kind of maybe going in the direction of the hair around the eyes. Kind of making it look like the hair would go around the eyes something like that and then of course you got your ear up here you want to do that so anyway what i was saying earlier before i got myself distracted y'all can't decide if i should be painting <laughs> working or or jibber drawing i don't know kind of jibber drawing sometimes and um so i um have had acid reflux off and on ever since i can really remember as an adult I don't remember having this kid and um, I've had a, and it's just been kind of like real crazy out of control lately. I don't know what is going on. So I haven't slept a lot, which y'all know that's not good. And I'm, I've had insomnia all these years, so I don't sleep a lot to begin with. So I really don't need a reason not to sleep, but man, when your stomach's hurting, you know, you're kind of deciding, should I go to the hospital? Should I, what should I do? That, all that kind of stuff. It's not good. So today I said, okay, I'm going to the doctor. Y'all know it was bad. If I took time out of my day, stopped call this morning and said, weather has a bunch to do with it. I said, well, maybe so. I never thought about that. That never even occurred to me, but my doctor is downtown in the medical center. So I, you know, it's a 30, 45 minute drive, depending on traffic. But, you know, you're feeling bad, you just do it because that's just what you got to do. And y'all, I was not feeling good. So he said, take more medicine, basically. I've got reindeer brown right here, a little bit left, which is the color I used with that gray brush, some reindeer brown. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a little bit more. I don't have quite enough reindeer brown in there, so I'm going to put a little bit more there. And I want to, I think... Put just a tad of shading brown. Not a lot. And y'all, this don't look like the paint wants to come out. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull this tip out. See what I'm doing? This bit tip will dry out on me. So I'm going to put my finger over it. Shake it up real good. And um, so let me put a little bit of that. Just a little bit to make it a little bit darker than what I have with the rake brush strokes. And... Um, I'm going to stir it up and I'm going to put some more brush strokes in here just using my script liner. I like the idea. I don't know if y'all were able to catch the donkey that I did the other day. I did a lot of brush stroking on him 
um, and I really like the way he turned out. So I'll put a lot of brush strokes on this guy as well. So I've got this mixture right here. So anyway, he gave me some more medicine. So take this. If you're not better in a month, call me or come back, you know, kind of thing. So we're going to see how all that goes. And maybe the weather. I never thought about that. I'm just going to kind of come in here and randomly put some strokes. I'm not trying to make this anything other than totally random because that's really what I want like this. And then of course I'm going to have to still do highlights and all that good stuff. So we're not near done. I still have to do shading. So really fur or any kind of hair um, is really just a lot of brush stroking to me. That's what it is. And uh, for those of you in the Academy next um, Tuesday, Victoria is coming on and she's going to be showing us her version and what she likes to do for hay. Because y'all know fall's coming up, and a lot of fall stuff will have hay in it. So we're going to be doing that, I think, on the 22nd of June, around 9 o'clock. Victoria's coming over to my house. And we will be doing a little get-together on how to make hay. I actually have already created the template that we're going to use. And uh, it's, it's a gnome on a pumpkin. And the gnome is on the, there's a pumpkin, there's a gnome in the middle. And at the bottom, the in, bottom of the pumpkin, the gnome is standing on the hay. So with Victoria, we're going to be learning how to do hay. Okay, so I'm going to pull this over here. Uh, she says no fried foods. And you know, Kathy, I eat fried foods, and that's probably uh, whether, hey, because it can also cause asthma. Yes, I know. I did know that, Kathy, because um, I used to have a lot of sinus problems, which is how I got um, diagnosed with uh, acid reflux. I was having acid reflux in them when I was younger and didn't even know it, but it was all that stuff was coming up in my um, nasal cavity, and I've always had lots of issues with sinuses. So um, one of the things I did to address that is I went and got allergy shots because I do have I, I have had allergies. So I've heard that before. I think you're right about that. So that's what I, w I went today to the medical center. And, hey, it was in the middle of the afternoon, so it wasn't like I did a bunch of um, – it wasn't like the traffic. I mean, there was traffic. It's Houston. Of course, there was traffic, but it wasn't bad. So I still kind of was in a bad mood the time I got home. And Bruce was like, Did, I thought you said there really wasn't any traffic. Why are you in a bad mood? I was like, I'm in a bad mood because I had to get in the truck and go somewhere. Y'all, I don't go anywhere, really. I, I, I try not to. I try to stay home. That's kind of what I do. So I don't, I'm not used to one getting it out and going here and going there. I just kind of hang at the house. And uh, y'all, with the whole COVID thing, I got kind of spoiled because you would go out and there was no traffic, and that whole that whole part is over, right? I don't know about y'all, but when I go out, there's a lot of traffic. So anyway, um, I went to the doctor today. They gave me some more medicine, but you know, I didn't think about too the fried food thing. I probably need to knock that off. Well, stress and and you know what? I don't care what anybody says. This whole 2020 and 2021 kind of situation it has been more stressful than than what i would like to admit or think about and and i think like in my case so much of it is um we are dealing with unprecedented supply chain issues and uh which everybody is uh i've never ran uh i've never had to deal with the issues that we're having to deal with right now and that is you know we can't get material you can't get supplies you're constantly on the phone with your vendors you know constantly asking for an update constantly revising what you think you're going to do how, what you're going to cut what you're going to make it is crazy y'all and so i do think stress is probably for me that's probably been a lot of what's going on because you know in the old days you just picked up the phone you ordered your material so what we did they delivered it i mean paid them right you want money they deliver it I mean, you, was, you the only thing you really had to worry about is did you have the money to pay them? You had the money to pay them, everything was good. So, um, but since, especially since, the, I didn't notice it last year, but, you know, this year the supply chain is really messed up. So, uh, every day I'm dealing with that, spending a lot of time on the phone, and of course they're never giving you the answer you really want to hear, are they? <laughs> 
So that has been a lot. Of, uh, that's probably a lot of it too, right there, you know. And Bruce is not one to get on the phone, y'all. I'm always the one on the phone. He ain't trying to get on the telephone. He don't like the telephone. Hey, Jerry, how are you? I'm glad you could come hang out with me. I'm showing y'all how to paint a camel, a Christmas nativity camel. In June, we came out with a camel, a cow, and a donkey. I've already done the cow and the donkey. I'm just doing the camel today. And um, next, in, in July, we do Christmas in July. And so we got uh, a number of pieces to finish this out. Uh, the whole Christmas nativity set in July. We got three wise men and two shepherds coming in July. So we tried to have all this ready and done so by in July because really y'all seen quite a bit of our lives lately you probably have noticed that we've had that but in the fall we don't do as, as many we're just too busy trying to run the shop and we need to give y'all Christmas uh, really early give you time to paint it you know so I've got my green and basically I just used a Christmas green and a shading green on that and I'm gonna do some shading red now but I think this dress, uh, oh, you know what? I love Christmas yard art too. It's always been my favorite. And I guess it probably always will be. Um, and part of it, I think, for me too, is like whenever the Christmas season starts to get here, which for us, the Christmas season really is starts in October. I don't know. People think that's crazy, but it really does start. I mean, we sell Christmas in August and September because we put it out in August a little bit. And we'll sell it in August. And we'll sell some in September, but of course October is when they get serious. And um, I can't do nothing but making a mess, y'all. And I think part of the reason I like the Christmas stuff is it's so pretty, but also we're outside a lot. And by then the sun is not trying to kill you. Like y'all, we're in a heat wave right now. I'm in Pearland. It's crazy. I think the sun is trying to kill us sometimes. You know what I mean? And this is only June, so I don't know what we're gonna do. I hope this is not a sign of what's to come because that's not going to be good. All right. So I'm going here. Can y'all see my dog? Look at how ridiculous she is. Ellen Knight. Ellen Knight. Stop. What it is is thundering and she's very afraid of the thunder. See? Your own, your own Ellie. You see? Can you be a good girl? I know. Y'all, she's shivering right now. And it's because of the thunder. She don't like the bad weather. Okay. It's all right. Okay. All right. Now Nana has to work. You want doggy treats? If you want doggy treats, I have to work. This dog, y'all, she's crazy. She don't. She has allerg uh, allergies. She has anxiety on a good day, let alone on a bad day with the weather. She ain't feeling this weather. And right now it's thundering outside. I don't know if it's going to rain, but it's thundering. And she doesn't like that. And she, I used to hold her a lot when she was a real little dog. And so her first inclination is she wants to sit in my lap. But y'all, she weighs 75 pounds, so she weighs a little bit more than she used to. Now, I made a bobo here earlier. As you can tell, I got a, a green bobo, so I need to fix that. So I've got some red paint right here. I'm going to pull this out. <laughs> that right. Yeah, you can always leave it up to the dogs. Hey, they, they, uh, they do crazy stuff. And so the Christmas time that rolls around, you know, you're not dying in the heat. And that's part of the reason I think I like the Christmas. And uh, Pam says, yeah, I agree with you about the heat. Do we sell patterns? Yes, we do. You can look at yardarderus.com, uh, Jerry. And I'm so proud of myself. Um, I actually took, it took me, I don't know how many hours, uh, more than I'll ever want to admit or know, to put all the templates that I thought were decent onto our website. So if you go to yardarderus.com, there's a, horizontal navigational bar, go look for the word templates. That's what we called them, templates. Under templates, you're going to see a flood of drop down menu and there's, they're divided by holidays and you can go check it out. But yeah. In fact, this guy that I'm painting, we have the template for sale. All of the Christmas nativity stuff that we've released in the painters club, the painters in the making, we have those templates up. We have lots of Santa Claus templates, lots of Christmas. And um, so I think I like the whole Christmas thing because you don't feel like, oh, my gosh, we're going to die in the heat out here. And um, because a lot of times when you're out, at, we're out at the store, we're, we're, you know, working and putting stuff out. So uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm getting ready to shave this guy. So what I'm going to do is this. I, I, what I did earlier is I took some reindeer brown and I put the... Um, shading brown with it and I got that color 
But now that I think about it, y'all, let me let me try something. We're gonna do a little experiment. So this is a mixture of reindeer and shading. This is shading. So I'm gonna put some water in here. I'm gonna do just a little bit of shading and I'm gonna decide which color I like. Maybe y'all could tell me which color to go with. That's the other thing. Um, thank you, Debbie. De yeah, template downloads. Um, and on those template downloads, Jerry, we have it in four. You get a SVG, a DXF, a PDF. Oh, Lord, what's the other one? PDF, JPEG. JPEG, PDF, DXF, and SVG. You get four versions of it. This is, you know, when you order it. So, all right. So I've got my shading right here. This is what I call shading brown color. Just comes from my color palette. You okay, Ellie? Poor Ellie. She's shivering. It's okay. It's okay, baby. Yeah, it's thunder in here. I don't know if it's going to rain, but. So whenever I'm going to do a little bit of um, shading, I'm going to fan this brush out, okay? Ellie, Ellie, stop. Okay. Okay. I don't really know which way I'm going to like this. Okay, I think I do. Let me put this where y'all can see it. So I'm over here, and I've got my shading brown. And um, I think I'm going to, it's got kind of a dark, darker color to it. So I think I'm going to like it. Y'all, I think I'll just stand up. How about that? Okay. And I can kind of come over here and you can just do it like this. And the reason I think I like this is because it's a darker color, right? And it's just about putting some color on here. I've always been a person that whatever I paint, I tend to make it kind of really colorful. That's just my style. Okay. This is my helper, y'all. You're going to help me? It's okay. It's okay. Now look, I always tell my dogs, I have... We have, how many dogs? We have six total. And uh, we have three little ones and three bigger ones. She's one of our bigger ones. And I always tell our dogs when they sit around, they just want me to hold them all the time. I'll tell them, look, I have to work. If I don't work, I can't buy doggy treats. Y'all, they don't seem to care one way or the other as long as I hold them. So I'm kind of just taking my shaving brush and doing my doggy, uh, my doggy, y'all can't even talk, my doggy tail, y'all. Okay, but I do like this because this is so light and this kind of gives it some more color. And I'm just doing some brush stroking. That's all I'm doing. Just taking that brush over and 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 over. Sometimes the brush is going to lose some paint. I still keep painting with it and then I'll come back and put some more paint in here. So I'm just going to do it this. All right, and this, this, what I'm doing right now is just shading on this perimeter. Uh, that's what I always do usually with all of my stuff. It's just my style. Ellie, are you okay? Are you upset, baby girl? Hmm? Yeah, she's upset. It's okay. It's okay. Man is right here. I got you. I got you. It'd be okay. We'll paint the camel together. Nana and Ellie will paint the camel together. Hmm? Okay. And um, we have another dog named Buddy. We've got to take him to the vet tomorrow. He's sick, y'all. He's uh, 13, and he's got congestive heart failure. He's got uh, tumors. They don't. We, we didn't do a lot of testing, so we don't think that the tumors are cancers, but we don't really know. So I'm going to take him tomorrow to the vet. I'm not looking forward to that. We've been taking him to the vet now for about you know, a month and a half now. And we know what's coming, but we're trying to, you know, let him have as long as we possibly can. But he hasn't been doing good this last week, so I've got to take him tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to take him to the vet. Ellie, it's okay. It's okay, baby. Look, see? Nana's painting the camel, Ellie. Okay, y'all, this dog has got me kind of crazy. i got too much paint right here. Let's try this. Oh, Carla says, love the doggy. Mine don't, I don't know what it is. What is it about animals? They do not feel the whole thunder and lightning and, and noise and I don't know, gunshots or car backfiring or any of that. 
My and y'all, my dogs are ridiculous. They're so spoiled. And most people that come to my house, they, at some point they'll all say, hey, I want to come back to your house in my next life as an animal. It's like, yeah, because when you do, you got made around here. They get treats. Everybody in the world that works with us and comes to the house, we have several people that work here at the house with us. They come in every morning to give the dogs treats. I give the dogs treats. Bruce gives the dogs treats. My sisters. Everybody gives the dogs treats. And uh, then every now and then Bruce will fuss at me at the money I spend at the store on buying them treats. But y'all, they're my babies. What can I tell you? It's okay. Can you say hi to everybody? So this is Ellie Mack. Ellie Mack. She's four years old. And she's a rescue. But she's my girl. Huh, Ellie? You Nana's girl? Yeah. And she's got the whole panting thing down right now because she's nervous, y'all, because of this, this thunder. All right. So let's get up here. Let's do this. I'm trying to put enough paint on here. Yeah, I think I got it. Ellie. No, baby. I'm going to do a little bit of brushing in here. Like that. Okay. I think I like that. And then I will kind of come in here and do it like this. Just kind of going in that direction the way I think that fur might go. Kind of go around my eye a little bit. And something like that. I didn't even think about coming, uh, going live tonight with a bad word. Or I could have locked her out, but she would scratch at the door, y'all. <laughs> and, and sometimes she gets mad. If you don't let her in, she'll start barking. She can be kind of unruly sometimes. I don't know if y'all's animals can be like that, but mine can be unruly. Bruce is always kind of getting after me because he says I spoil them too much, which I probably do. But they're my babies. All right, I'm kind of getting a nose on this guy. I'm going to just kind of come in here. Do something like that. And something like that. Yeah, she's mad at me now. Are you mad at me, Ellie Mae? Look at her. She turned her back at me. It's okay, baby. It's okay. I know. She's like, Nana, usually I'll stop and sit and hold her. She's like, why are you not holding me? Ellie, that's because I'm doing a live. I have to do my lives and I have to show people how to paint the stuff. Right? You want doggy treats? Nana has to work. That's what I tell her. She's not very impressed by that, y'all. That's what I tell her. Okay. Kind of got a lot of brush stroking on here. So I'm happy with that. And then you just put as many brush strokes on here as what you like. I got a lot going on on this little guy. But that's all right. Now, what I do need to do is I need to get ready to do some outlining. And I think what I'll do is I'll keep this same color, this shading brown that I was shading with. I'm gonna water it down just a little bit more. And then I'm going to outline it in this color. Cause if I get a shading red, that's gonna get too dark on me. All right, so. It's not quite thin enough, y'all. Is it raining where y'all are at? I'm in Pearland. I don't know why, but this weather is crazy. Okay, Ellie, Nana's got to sit down because I cannot uh, outline standing up. I can shade, but I can't outline standing up. Okay. So I've got my shading brown, and I'm going to get my script liner, and I'm going to finish this little guy up. Not gonna take too much longer. Okay, Ellie, you have to get down. Come on, get down. Come on. Ah, thank you, girl. All right. No, you stay down. 
Okay, y'all, hold on just a second. I'm going to get me another chair. I'm going to scoot Ellie Mae over there. Ellie! All right. I have another chair right here, and that way if Ellie decides she wants to sit in with me, she got to sit on the other chair. No, no, you get on that other chair. All right, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some outlining with this. If This is shading brown that I just got through doing. And I just am watering it down some. And now watch the brush stroke. Uh, basically just using the script liner. I'm using the same color that I was using earlier with that flat tip brush. But I'm going to script liner this with uh, shading brown, the same color. And it's going to give it a little bit different look. A little bit more what I would call a finished look. And I really kind of make sure I go back and forth on those CNC lines. And I'm just going to put some very light strokes in here. I already have the heavier shading brown strokes, so I'm going to just do a very light. And I'm going to come up. Let's do it this way. Okay. Let's start up here. Yeah, that way you guys can see the face. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. right around the halter part there we go and what i am seeing is i forgot to make that green y'all i got to go back and make that green i'll do that in just a minute the inside of this part of this rope halter should be green do that let's see and this um This weather has been kind of crazy as far as it's just too hot. I don't know why it's so hot so early, but uh, my cousin lives in Florida and she said the same way. They're just hot, 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 like crazy, y'all. All right, kind of come up here like so. And like that. Ellie Mae really wants me to go lay down in the bedroom because when I do that, I let her lay under the bed. She doesn't sleep in my bed, but I let her lay under the bed, and that's really her favorite spot to go to. Uh, Debbie said laughing so hard. Debbie, you know how these animals are around here. It's utterly ridiculous. And Bruce tells, uh, he'll tell them, y'all stop acting ridiculous. And I'm like, you do know they're animals. They can't understand you. He's like, yeah, they know what I'm saying. I guess, y'all, you get your kids grown because, you know, my, my kids are grown and you get animals and you talk to your animals instead of your kids. I guess. That, or that seems to be what Bruce and I have done. <laughs> it's like, you know, every now and then, you know, we'll remind each other. You do know that animal doesn't understand what you're saying. Yeah, well, maybe. And I'm just kind of coming in here, bringing a little bit of a stroke like this back into here just dragging that paint back into here a little bit kind of making it look a little bit more like fur and you can tell just basically this guy is just about having the patience to sit there and do it there's a lot of brush stroking to it just sitting there doing it that's really uh and it takes you know some time to do it but it when you do it it looks to me it looks good all right so let's go up around here what I would probably do is I would just do something kind of like that. I notice I'm not trying to make it perfect around those eyes because I'm going to come back with black on that a little bit. Y'all, maybe she's calmed down a little bit. She seems to be laying here so at my feet on the floor. Maybe she decided Nana went and got another chair and going to let, let me in that chair. All right. So y'all, between my acid reflux and dealing with my sick dog, it's like, what the heck is going on around here? I don't know about y'all, but when I have to put that dog down, and I know that's coming, I'll be crying like a baby. I'll probably get on the live, I'll have red eyes. You're like, Mary, what's wrong? I have to put my dog down. And he, we've taken him to the vet several times, and the vet just kind of looks at me, you know. And... um. Whiskey, my cat, has a pet name, Tim. <laughs> exactly. So 
do you stay do you are you at home talking to your animals like i am debbie because that's what i do it's like you know bruce and i just we act ridiculous it's just the way it is but um i guess you get your kids grown and get you know get some animals and then my sister connie called today and said there's a dog on dixie farm road running up and down the road trying to catch him because i'm worried about him getting run over and i'm like we can't bring another dog we have six dogs and when the city of Pearland drives around, we try to make all our dogs come in the house because I think you're only supposed to have three, honestly. But in my defense, these dogs are all rescues. They just, I don't go looking for them. They find me. And y'all, when a dog gets sick or hurt, I just can't turn them away. I just, I just, I just can't. That's why we have the dogs that we have. So, I don't know. That's, that's probably not a good thing on my part, but still. Y'all, it's raining like crazy out there. If this dog jumps up and attacks me, it's really not going to surprise me, y'all. Because it's coming down out there now. So, remember when I started with this camel, in fact, I base coated this camel in the color that we call camel. He was very, very light. But I've got so much on him now, he's starting to kind of darken up. Now, I'm going to go back while I'm here. And I'm going to take this shading red. I'm going to wash out my brush real quick and take some shading red. Hey, Kim, how are you? I am doing a um, Christmas uh, camel guy here. A mom fighting with my dog because it's raining here and she doesn't like the uh, bad weather. Ellie May. She gets very upset when it's thundering and raining and stuff like that. Ellie. You're going to knock me out of this chair, baby girl. All right. So I'm going to outline this green. And I'm using um, shading red. Shading red, this red that I have, this shading red is very dark. It's almost a black. It's so dark. But that's what I'm going to use to outline the blanket on the camel right here, y'all. All right. Almost got that done. And then shading red is what I use to shade the red, but it's also what I'm going to use to outline it. So this red actually only has two colors, regular red and then the shading red. Okay. That's all that's on here as far as your two colors. Now, I better wash this brush out, y'all, and then finish this guy out. Hopefully. Can y'all see Ellie May? Really, Ellie Mae? If Bruce was in here, he'd be like, he'd be yelling at her. Ellie Mae, get out of that chair. Leave her alone. She's trying to get something done. It's fucking you know Ellie Mae came out. I understand you. Oh, well. What you gonna do, y'all? Okay, so I'm coming over here, and I'll probably put it out here where y'all can see it. I'm just kind of coming in here like this. And then, of course, I'm going to do the tail. i got to outline my tail here. Put a couple strokes in there. And then I'm going to make my tail. And put a couple strokes in here. I still have to put some white highlights. That's the only thing that I haven't done on this guy that I know I still have to do. All right, let me pull this thing back so it won't hit the computer there. I got my computer right there, y'all. Okay. But, um, just going to outline this guy. And again, I'm going to come in here and kind of bring it in like he's got some fur coming in that way. On that outline right there. I'm just kind of bringing those strokes in. So, and then I've got the little hip, I guess you could call it the hip right here. I've got to outline that. And then I'll bring some more strokes in here. And I'm going to outline the leg, this leg. Something like that. I 
am almost ready to put highlights on this guy. Oh, I got a little piece right over here. And then just do a few more strokes. I'm going to come over here. Put a little more strokes up here. I'm going to put some green in there. Oh, I forgot, y'all. I got to do something with those eyes, too. Let me get the green. It's raining hard here, y'all. Can you show close up of the brush you're using? Oh, no. I sure can. Hold on just a second, Amy, and I will do that. It's called a script liner. Sometimes, I know a lot of folks, when they're first learning to paint, will use uh, paint pens to outline and stuff. I don't do that because I could go broke trying to pay for a paint pen. So what I use is called a script liner. They're only a couple bucks. You can get them anywhere. Carla says, I have four rash keys. Oh, I know, Carla. I cannot watch those shows where they show animals or whatever being abused because I just get, it just, oh, I can't, I can't handle it. It makes me mad. So this is a script liner. And basically it's just got some long, thin um, bristles to it. Now this particular one is an American painter, number four. Sometimes I use number four, which is the size, and sometimes I use a number six. But just to give you an idea, this is both of these are number fours, right? But look at this one. It is it's just worn out. But I do not throw brushes away even when they're worn out because I can always find a use for them. I would use this brush that I've got right here, the one I'm shaking. I would use that when I want a really wide stroke. But then I would use this one when I would want a thinner stroke. So I tend not to throw brushes away. That's, that, that's just me, okay? I'm gonna keep using this one uh, because this one is just too worn out and I don't need a wide stroke that wide, okay? But you can get them at wherever, Sam's, Michael's, Sam's, not Sam's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, any of those sort of places. Uh, we sell them at the store if we have them in stock because with the whole COVID thing, sometimes it's hard keeping things in stock. All right. Ellie, I'm going to give you that chair because I'm just not even going to argue with you because I know you ain't even going to listen. All right. So I've got some black uh, that I base coated here. And what I would do um, is I'll take this script liner and I'm going to come over here. I'm gonna, first thing I'm going to do is outline in those CNC's and make sure I get that, that whole thing done. I want to make my edges look kind of nice. And I'm a person who likes uh, eyelashes. If you're not if that's not your thing, then don't worry about that. You don't you don't have to put eyelashes on there. It's okay. She's upset, y'all. No, it's okay. It's okay. She's my girl. No, now you're gonna fall out the chair, Ellie May. Come here. Okay, you can stand right there. All right. So, um, Ellie, don't mess up while I'm trying to make my eyelashes. Okay. Because I don't want my guy to have some funny looking eyelashes. I won't put any eyelashes over here on this side. Just because I might, do, I don't know, I might do something like that. But the way the angle is. Now, I've got the buckle here that I've never painted. So I'm going to paint this buckle on my halter. And then, of course, I just painted the inside of that green. I'll have to come back tomorrow. Put a little shading on that. And then that's it, y'all. We're gonna. I'm gonna put some highlights on this guy, and he's he is done. And it, sorry, it took me a little longer than normal because uh, my little painting buddy here gets me a little distracted. But she's a critter, and I can't be mean to her. Whenever Bruce and I go anywhere, somebody's like, "Oh, well, where's your wife at?" He's like, "Well, if there's any animals within the vicinity of wherever we at, that's where my wife will be." I'm like, "Yeah, pretty much." But y'all, as kids growing up, we didn't have toys and stuff like that, but my parents always made sure we had animals, so we spent a lot of time outside with critters. We had cows, we had pigs, we had horses, we had raccoons, we had um, always had a squirrel, usually. Had a couple raccoons. Of course, we had dogs and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, um, it's not surprising that I'm an animal person. 
haven't spent that much time. Okay, y'all, my screen just went. If I, if this video dies, it's only because the weather's coming through. And it sounds like the world's coming to an end, y'all. Outside, anyway. All right, let me finish this guy up. So I've got my script liner. I still have some black in there, but I don't really, I don't, I don't really have time to mess with it. I didn't outline that, and I'll have to come back and do that. And I'm just going to kind of come in here, <clears throat> and just like I did with all my other brush strokes. Now, you're not going to put as many. I'm just going to kind of come in here and do my brush strokes. over and over and over and over just taking the time and the patience to do that oh you just got the weather alert here oh i know oh yeah got to have the highlights huh amy you know that outline and shading are my nemesis you are correct they are the hardest part i do believe uh or it was for me to learn that um and it's just kind of one of those, you just do it and do it and do it. And then one day you'll wake up and think, okay, I don't hate it as much as I used to, but yes, it is hard to, you know, it's like anything else. It's not hard for me, but geez, Louise, look how long I've been doing it. Yeah. But you got to add some of your highlights to me. You do. Don't you think so? Ellie Mae? Don't you think Nana's got to put some highlights on there? She's looking all sad, y'all. I don't think she likes this weather. It's raining really, really hard outside. But Carla said she just got the weather alert in Alvin. Alvin's just right down the road from me. So I guess it's all over the area, huh? And I'm just going to put some white in here. And you can tell I am not trying to be persnickety about where this white's going. I just throw it in there somewhere. Yo, Ellie looks like she's about to. Are you going to fall asleep? You about to fall asleep? Oh, see my girl. You Nana's girl? Hmm? She's like, Nana, would you please hurry up? I want to go to sleep. And I'm not going to go to sleep till you finish this live video. I'm on my little doggy and I'm sleepy. Turn this this way. Okay. She has that she does. <laughs> look, 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 look. She's like, she's over it. Y'all can kind of tell this. She's like, I've had enough of this ridiculousness. Nana needs to cut all this ridiculousness out and come to bed. Because she knows, especially when it's raining like that, I'll let her in my bedroom. And she can sleep under the bed. That's her favorite place to be is under the bed. Particularly on wet, bad weather times. Okay, I've got to finish this part. The face. I'm trying to scoot this over where y'all can see it. I'm going to put a little bit in the face up here. And we're going to be done. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. It's always fun to have y'all here with me. Um... Like I said, if you're in the Academy, we'll be in on Tuesday, and we will be showing you, actually, Victoria will be showing us how to do hay. I know what I do for hay, but I have a feeling what she does is probably going to be better than what I would do. For those of you that are considering it, we have the Academy open this week. It will close on Friday. You can go to yardartacademy.com if you're thinking about joining and read up about it. It's open this week and until Friday night, and then we'll close it. If that's something you were considering, we do all sorts of stuff in there. Uh, there's lots of videos that I don't do here. And it's really a lot of stuff about, you know, jigsawing, staking, how to mix colors, how to choose colors, all that kind of stuff. All right. Even Ellie Mae says, okay, Nana, I think you're done. Hmm? You think I'm done, Dr. Girl? She looks kind of tired. This has been the best helper, y'all. She's been my helper on this video. Now, I hope she's not planning on helping me on any other videos. It's kind of like when your kid wants to help you and you can't, you don't have the heart to tell them no. It takes you twice as long. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh, thank you. She says your dog is so adorable. Debbie, thank you for posting that. Uh, Kathy says I have to walk away and come back. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's the truth. 
Oh, I know. Thank y'all. Isn't that the truth? But they're your animals. So what you're going to do, you love them. So you put up with some of their ridiculousness. Y'all, I never really get mad at my animals. Only once in a blue moon when I really get stern with them. Other than that, I really don't. Bruce says I'm ridiculous. Yeah, probably true. Okay. I think we're done. All right, I think we're done. You have been the best helper I've ever had. Let me show y'all this. So let's start back here. I think this is the only way I'm going to get to show you the whole thing. I basically base coated red and did just shading red. And I base coated green and then it did that dark green. Now the camel, I did start with two base coats of our camel color. And just in case you want to know, not that you have to buy our paint, but like if you decide, this is what our camel color looks like. To me, it's a true camel, right? So that's, I did two coats of that. Then I did this color with a rake brush. And this is 50% shading brown and 50% reindeer brown. And I did that with my rake brush. Then I did pretty much everything else, the outlining, all the other brush stroking, and the shading brown. And that's really all there is. And let me scoot it over where you can see. There you go. There's the face. Thank you guys for being so patient with me and hanging out. I know um, it's been a little bit longer than what I normally do because I have my, my little buddy here because she's upset. But she is a good dog. Can you tell them good night? Mm -hmm. She, her name is Ellie Mae, and she's four years old, and she's a rescue. She's actually, y'all, a rescue from a rescue. She was rescued by a rescue person, and the rescue person could not handle her because she has a lot of anxiety issues, and so they brought her to me, and I think the reason it worked out is I work from home, and I'm always home, and I'm always patient with her 99.9% of the time, okay? I have my moments, and um, so she's been with us for four years. The first year was real rough because she chewed everything in sight. So it took us a little while to get her used to being here. And um, Bruce always teases me and says that the day I die, if this dog is still alive, he goes, she will not make it. So you make sure you live longer than Ellie may. It's like, okay. It's like, <laughs> we just act ridiculous with animals. That's just it. Okay. Hopefully, I've inspired y'all to go and cut your camel out if you want to buy the template, or paint your camel if you want to buy the blank, or think about painting some Christmas yard art. So y'all have a good day, good evening, what's left of it. And uh, I will be on probably, you see, today's Tuesday. I'm going to do the pencil. I want to show y'all, for those of you that are thinking about the pencil, hold on now. Ellie, really, Ellie? I'm going to do the pencil one day this week. This is what the pencil looks like. I'll show you. So I'm going to be doing that this week. I don't know if it'll be Thursday. I don't think it'll be tomorrow. I'm going to do the pencil. And then Ashley is going to come on and she is going to do the interchangeable gnome. That's been one of our more uh, popular pieces. So we will see y'all in the next few days. Y'all have a good day. And uh, hopefully you're going to go out and paint some Christmas yard art pretty soon. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.